Data Integrity and Security, CIT 226. And uh, we are covering a course for which we are using a book called Database Security. And we are talking about the privileges and permissions, roles, etc., in the databases. We covered up to user privileges. Now we'll try to understand what are roles. Roles are just like a group of permissions that you have assigned for a specific group. Now, if I want to give permissions to a specific user on a table that he'll be able to read the data or he'll be able to modify the things, it becomes cumbersome to assign permissions on each and every user for specific tables. So what we do is that we create a role, we assign all permissions on it, we can create a role for read only, we can create a role for modifications, we can create a role of the administrator on that specific table. And then we can add a number of users to that role. So if we'll make any modifications to the role permissions, the permissions would be applied to the users as well. Just like on Active Directory, I have a role of student where we are restricting lots of things which students cannot do in student labs. So all students are a member of that role. If I'll make any changes to the group, all students would immediately be able to add remove programs or install programs or do certain things. I don't need to assign individual users permissions. So it takes, it saves a lot of time when we do that. Related privileges can be combined to create a role used to centrally manage group of objects or users. So it can be applied on both. Roles can be created for users, objects, and applications. Single role can be assigned to many users. As I told you, I created a role. Now I added all of them to that. Single user can be assigned many roles. If you are member of one group, you can be a member of another group as well. Just like we can have a student who have permissions to do certain things as a, uh, as a student, but if I want to use the same student on help desk, I'll add a role of help desk to his account. Now he'll be able to perform more duties and he'll have more permissions as compared to the other students. All I need to do is just to remove those guys from those roles and they'll be able to uh, do the, or perform the duties as the other students are doing this. Advantages of using roles is saves time and resources, provide central location for administration. So at a single point, I can deny access and I can allow access. I know that all of these users in my DB group are able to perform these functions, create, update, modify. But temporarily, if I want to suspend all operations, I don't need to go and change permissions on every account. I'll change the permissions on the group and for that period no one would be able to make any changes. Now defining the roles in SQL Server role defined at either server or database level because on SQL Server we have Windows based authentication and mixed authentication. So we can define the users based on their Active Directory user accounts by giving them permissions or at the database level if we are giving them separate username and password in order to log into the database. Server roles grant rights to manipulate the server environment, rights granted to the login accounts. Database roles grant the access to the database objects and the rights granted to the user accounts. Five type of roles available within SQL Server, which is a fixed server, fixed database, user defined, application, or public, which is available to everyone. Now, fixed server roles provide server level permissions, cannot be changed or deleted, users can be added to them. So that's a fixed one. Now, fixed database rules provide privileges specific to the database. It cannot be altered, yet users can be added to it. 
as you can see these are some predefined user accounts a role could be system admin or security admin server admin setup admin and you have their permissions which are predefined by Microsoft so if you are assigning a user to a sysadmin group you must understand that it's a system administrator account that holds the rights to perform any actions at any server level so before adding any users to these roles make sure that you are choosing the right role for the right user now we have db owner we have db access admin and data reader um, data writer and all those other things which you can see a detailed information about it for example a db data writer member of the db data writer role can add change delete data from all tables and have insert update and delete permissions now user defined roles are built to control access to the objects within the database who can do what and what kind of permissions do they have now applications rules created to support security requirements of the application public role is a special role in which every database user is a member members cannot be removed and provide a way to assign privileges to all users now defining the role in a mysql roles are not included in mysql server role we use some scripting or third party applications in order to define roles on mysql database because it's not built for that kind of purpose defining roles in oracle is server roles are built in roles provide privileges at a system and object level roles can be granted to the user and 33 role exist on the oracle database alone for example the role could be of a database administrator which is the top level access account it has java admin scheduler admin and rest of the things further down to the views it has dba roles role privileges and so on now inference is a method through which people usually try to steal the information for example if there are two users one has full access to the data the other one has basic access so the users who have the basic access they can also get some information which they are not allowed to get for example there is a salary increase of course a user B who don't have permissions he cannot access the increase of a user B what they do is they run a command to find the change in the average salary between the last date and today after the salary increase so they can see the actual difference and then they can have an average that how much increment the other person got so these kind of things are called inference method of unauthorized users to obtain sensitive information making assumptions based on database reactions or query responses because both users have access to the query they can write they can execute but one user had the access to see the actual salaries and everything the other user didn't so the, bo since both of them had the access to run queries now he ran the query based on the dates that how much average salary was there and how much average salary is there today to mark the difference unauthorized users can draw conclusions about the database enables the knowledge of understanding of the data user may be internal or external inference is a great security threat difficult to predict detect and eliminate now in book they are giving an example of a hotel where you have a floor where you are booking it for VIPs now a hotel cannot be booked a room cannot be linked by a user where he will be occupying two rooms or two different floors at the same date so if you want to know that if there are some VIPs staying in the hotel in that floor instead of checking since it's not allowed to see that if that room is booked by a vip or not they'll try to make a fake booking 
to check if the system accepts it or not. If the system does not accept that the room is available, it means that it's been occupied over there. So though you didn't have the access to receive the information, but still you were able to get the information about the things which were not allowed. Inference is a great security threat. And two examples are two primary uh, means of inference using the logic, using statistics, logic relationship and constraint inference, well-organized logical databases and vulnerabilities to interference. Example of logical inference is hotel, hotel database, as I told you, and customer ID is the primary key where they can find the desk color, can see the room 4001 and tries to book but cannot because it would show that it's been booked. And that's what they are giving an example of it. Now the second example they are giving is for the statistical inference. Queries analyze the data but do not return the actual values because they'll create another table with some fake values on it. So if someone would try to run inference on it, they won't be able to get the actual statistics of it can easily be manipulated to retrieve sensitive information. Database user queries average of the salary and coworker and using arithmetic calculations to determine the coworker's salary. Now how to minimize the inference techniques to limit a person's ability to infer is poly instantation, log monitor, limit user capability and limit query responses. That what you can do in the design of a table that every table is normalized where one table will not have complete information of the users. So one table is linked to another one using a foreign key. If someone has access to a table, he'll only get the information related to that without giving unnecessary details about a user. Poly instantation strategy that allows database to contain multiple instances of a report which creates fake records. Downside is confusing false records with real ones, just like they are creating multiple records of a room number uh, uh, 4001, which could be booked by two different users and their profile is high and low. Less disruptive of a database environment than poly instantation. You can uh, check the logs and monitor alerts etc. events to monitor the activities. You can set the baseline and threshold to alter for unusual user activity to capture and analyze the database logs. Now limit user capabilities, limit users query size, allow only aggregated operators and limit the query responses to return the classes and range instead of exact numbers. So you won't be able to get the exact count of the difference. It would show that it lies in between this range without giving the exact amount or the change which was there. 